We begin with two folks from not too far away from each other in Michigan and two gentlemen making their TV debut, Frank Snodgrass and Justin Knowles. He rolls out of Jack 60 in Jackson, Michigan, your number nine seed, Justin Knowles. Rob Purple Hammer for Justin. The low lefty. And he gets a strike. That's how you start a season. Pulling out of five star lanes in Sterling Heights, Michigan, your number eight seed, Frank Snodgrass. And he also going with urethane purple hammer as well. Left for 10. The top nine might have a huge advantage. Uh, that is a sigh of relief pickup right there. Yeah, it's a single pin. Friendly rivals, both from the Detroit area. Oh, oh, nice kick. Oh, Come on. How about a break? A couple boards wide of target, but just the two pin. Two pin shots this week through qualifying. Make it 17 to 17, so he remains clean, and here he is still rolling. Oh boy, seven stays. For, for three in a row, and this time he goes through the nose and doesn't break up the split. How about it? Right. Game effort, but left the seven. First open frame. The final five live on Fox. Oh, Knowles oh, on the left. Yeah, a little kick. Oh. Pretty good shot here, and then gets a nice late trip. Beautiful. I think you have to say it like Roland's bowling. Roland's bowling. Roland's bowling. Roland watching his grandson. Ah, get denied a strike there. Again, the 10 pin standing strong, Randy. In your thing is it's just not strong enough through the pins. And you can see it three times in a row on that right lane for Frank. You saying stay with this current game plan? Yes. Remains clean. We start the sixth. And so far, Frank's had zero luck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, his execution's been really, really good. And this is just, just, just a hair, hair, excuse me, a hair high, but he doesn't get the trip four. Perfect on the four pin this week, 10 for 10. And it remains perfect. Good. Two, four, seven. Had that huge lead and it is deteriorating. No! Real nice pickup. Perfect. Real nice pickup. Oh! Hated it. You can see why. Look at the location of that shot right there. Working on a strike, so. As long as he converts, he doesn't lose any count. Strike trying to double up and take the lead. Got a hook. We're going to hear from E.J. Tackett live in our next segment. Oh. That was a good shot. Massive ring in seven. Got it. Snodgrass to begin the tenth. 
eight pin match. Don't dwell on it, Frank. Just clean up the mess. Snodgrass, if he covers this, is 203. Good cover, Vega. Yes! Come on, baby. What a shot. Come on! Doesn't matter. Knowles moves on. All right. Ah. Two eleven, two oh three, the final in our opening match. So Justin Knowles moves on. He'll take on your seven seed Marshall Kent, number two. Nine seed Justin Knowles set to meet your seven seed Marshall Kent. With five PBA Tour titles, he bowls out of Knob Hill Bowl in Yakima, Washington. Your number seven seed, Marshall Kent. There's his arsenal, and here's his first shot. Are you kidding me? A 7 10 to start. Well, won by Parker Bone, the third of all, of all people. Over 300. That is insane. Your nine seat. An eight pin win over Frank Snodgrass. And the lefty blows up the rack with his first shot. To finish the match on the left lane. He has yet to miss on that lane. Feels like an early tactical error. All right, he finally missed on that lane. Come on, man. The man from Okemos with his first miss on that right lane, or his left lane, I should say. Again, two, four, seven. You gotta pay it respect. Well done. That's the Marshall kid we know. There's a quick double for Knowles. Yep. I heard Kimberly is a new employee in the pro shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kent's on fire now. That's a triple. I had to keep rereading it to make sure it was correct. Kent in the fifth. Oh, Kent, don't give me that, baby. Don't give me that. Guys here in game two on the right side. And Knowles had the swag to start, right? Remember, started with the strike, Kent had an open frame, and now things have swung away from Knowles. Trying to bring it back. Good eight. Very good eight. Ah, two. <laughs> Mr. Kent strikes here. He's going to win 1000 bucks, sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. So good to have Paps Blue Ribbon back as a sponsor here. PBA, you know me, I love to grab a Paps when I have the opportunity. <laughs> oh boy. Yikes. Well, you saw the leg action, right? That right toe went across the body and then swung back again. A lot of venom on that shot. A little too much. Got a little jacked up. Yeah. Opening match of the day. Ah, look. Ah, ah. Well, that was kind of a Front deflating shot. Two, baby. Like that? Yeah. That's why you're a Hall of Famer. Sports? One of the, one of the greatest events we have. Yes. Knowles on the left. I got all kinds of odd taps, so. Time to move. 
Did you say time to move? Yeah, that's what we said. Time to move. Fourth spare of this game, his lone single pin spare. Finished fourth, he was still a college student at Robert Morris. No. Take a look, profile of Marshall's Kent. Real athletic guy, Jim Rat. Beautiful positions there. And then that bent elbow and wrist at the bottom of the swing, creating that power. A 141 yeah. got him to the big show. That's how tough the U.S. Open is. Oh, no. I should really like that. The 210. Missed it. Air mailed it. And now, Second open frame. And now he can get shut out. Opportunity for Knowles. Off a of spare. Come on. What a time for his fifth strike. Seven. Good shot. Okay. Thanks, Nick. Last shot here for Knowles. Uh. Ah. Count. It's nine. How do those not hook? And it is done. And Knowles moves on again from the nine spot. Oh, wow. Good on, good on right. With three PBA Tour titles and a USBC Masters title, he rolls out of Kolding Bowl Hall in Kolding, Denmark. Your number six seed, Thomas Larson. Own in Denmark. I can. Scan it up. Scan it up. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. All I know is he told me, don't say the D. Right. Scanner up. Scanner up. On American soil. Yeah. There's a strike today from Thomas. First strike here of our third match. Oh. Oh. Good nine. Beat Tackett last mm -hmm. year here at the U.S. Open. Oh, he missed it. Oh, man. Uh, Tom, my friend of me, had a pretty good week here, actually. Yeah, he a little did. disappointed he didn't make the show. Can I tell you what ball Martin's using? Please. Or what, or what ball Thomas might be changing from in a second? Well, the it's a thumbs down. You don't like the name of no. proton physics? No, it sounds like something, um, oh, an open frame. Like, it sounds like something a, a vector head in the lab should be rolling, not Noel's working on a strike. Oh, yeah. Back to back jacks for Knowles after that open frame in the second. Didn't make too many good decisions. Didn't have much to say about 2022, but this season came in with a different mindset. Make these good shots, get better every week. There's the bounce back shot. Bodie's favorite, Kyle Troop, next. Mm. Chuck. There. Larson on the left, looking for three in a row, trying to pull himself back into it. Down 13. Now trying to move on past Larson and set up a meeting with Kyle Troop. Go. Ah. 
Alright, get that get that three pin out of there. Six pin was uh taking a look for a minute there. He's made forty-five of forty-eight attempts at the seven pin this week. Find seen it all. Come on, seven pin. Right. Can't throw much better than that. Years. Nice pickup. 23 years. My goodness, what an accomplishment. The PBA's Hall of Fame. Larson in the ninth. Oh no, seven, ten. Only four times it's been converted on television. And that number will remain that way. Oh boy. Justin Knowles has proven wrong three straight times, looks like. Oh, what a pickup, though! What a pickup! Remember that one! Your initial mortgage rate by 3% with rate reduced from guaranteed rate, bringing you mortgage rate down hard. On the bounce back. Okay. Sure. Eight, eight on eight on the first ball is a winner. Today's final match brought to you uninterrupted. The upstart, Justin Knowles, set to take on Kyle Troop. What a way to start the 66th PBA season, Randy, with the U.S. Open. And not one day, but two days of live coverage on Fox Sports. Yeah, man. And working with you again. With nine PBA Tour titles and the 2021 Player of the Year, he bowls out of Penn Station in Newton, North Carolina. Your number five seed, Kyle Troop. Being eligible for the PBA Hall of Fame. Randy's got his ring on. What a start for Kyle Troop. Ingrown nail. He kept showing us that middle yeah. finger, Randy. I don't know why he was doing that, but just... Kept no, flashing it to he, us. Like, look at this. This hurts. He was just showing you. Oh, is that right? And I was like, I'm your problem? No, it's that. Got it. <laughs> Pick up there. Oh! Knowles off a strike. Back to back strikes here in match number four. I watched a Rams game there way back in the day with my dad. Roman Gabriel was quarter, Roman quarter, Gabriel yeah. flashback. Yep. Awesome. Knowles looking for three in a row to start match four. Oh, lucky drop of that seven late. Good ball. Well, talk about transition. Knowles is six boards right from when he started today. Hey. That's how, many board, that's how many boards he's moved since the start of match one. Now one and seven here. Can, can you believe that? Insane number. Strikes bear strike for True. Phone lines are open throughout the broadcast. <laughs> Caller. Oh, nice close out of that 10. Mr. Belmonte. Jason Belmonte. Who did not have a strong U.S. Open. Uh, Averaged a, what did you say, one, a one? 195. Five. Well, that was shades of a Brooklyn almost there. And Kyle got away with it. On again. Oh, open uh, frame. Uh, 
Justin Knowles with a 22 pin lead. Well, that one checked up early. You know, and, and, and the numbers say that the ball speed was slow, but if the ball reads the lane early, it's going to slow down. So Knowles remains clean. Hold up those pants. There you go, Kyle. Three in a row. That's a shot. Oh boy. Yeah. Two was not enough. Easy split to convert. Ah, two. two is better than one. So an open frame in the eighth. Needed that one. Yeah, I did. Oh. Man. Six pin looks like it just got whiplash. Mm -hmm. that one there's one strike Come on, Joe. got a hook that was huge oh my goodness that you're not kidding Well, you know what, it really didn't matter if he trips the two pin out, he gets nine, he still forces Knowles to double. Had to have a strike and it is over. That man, Kyle Troop, moves on to the final five at the U.S. Open tomorrow on Fox.